Can you give us a more positive spin on, on what we saw from China today? Kate, I don't think it was about that liquidity injection. 365 billion yuan, but that's all about banking liquidity and ahead of a week-long holiday coming up to the end of quarter and those troubles in Europe with China being closed, it's quite understandable why they would inject a record amount in. In terms of retail brokers, there wasn't a lot of explanation in terms of what drove the Shanghai Composite up by 3%, but the chatter on Insto desks is that we have seen the uh, China Sovereign Wealth Fund active in the market trying to hold up the Shanghai Composite above that 2,000 point level. And the talk is that they perhaps could have been active the past three days and we really started to see an impact today. So that's the talk on the street. I haven't been able to confirm that. As I mentioned, retail brokers still trying to explain the move and the talk really seems to be on the Insto side. But it's been an extraordinary day, a day in which we saw the Australian market open uh, down lower and all sectors in the red initially but by the end of the session it was risk on the market was up by 0.5% we are seeing option expiry and that's expect, expected to boost volumes uh, tomorrow as well. But also we're coming up to the end of quarter and that could be a positive for the Australian share market. And that's because the Australian share market has outperformed other markets around the region. Our market's up by 7.1% beating the Korean Cosby which is up by 6.8% for the quarter. And if we have a look at uh, the Nikkei, well it was down by 1.1% and the Shanghai Composite would know that it's been in the red all quarter down by a massive 7.1%. 2%. So an extraordinary session. Hopefully we will see some support for the Aussie share market as we count down to the end of quarter. But of course, with China close next week, we heard of that large record liquidity injection by the People's Bank of China and some chatter that we have seen the uh, China Investment Corp or CIC uh, uh, being active in the market to try and support the Shanghai Composite. Julia, we're all uh, watching Spain this evening. It's set to release its budget cuts tonight. We're seeing mass protests ahead of this the people certainly don't like the sound of it and nor would you when you're already sitting at a, an unemployment rate of about 25 percent is this shoring things up uh, in preparation for a bailout Ken, I think there's a lot of nerves around Spain at the moment and tonight uh, one of the things that we'll be watching very closely as you mentioned is the 2013 budget going to Parliament. Now the market has spe been speculating that perhaps this could be the trigger for Spain to ask for help from the European Central Bank and do really what the market has been seeking and that's the bond buying program that Mario Draghi announced a couple of weeks back. Tomorrow is also going to be a significant day and that's because the stress tests uh, for the banks in Spain will be released. And of course, uh, it comes as we've seen two days of unrest and protests in Spain and a pretty savage reaction on the Spanish uh, stock market overnight. I think the longer that Spain delays in asking for help from the European Central Bank, the more nervous the markets are become. And we are starting to see yields for Spanish 10-year uh, bonds once again on the rise. So tonight's going to be an important one, the 2013 budget, the protests going on, and uh, the market watching very closely to see whether Spain is going to pull the trigger and ask for help.